I'll be home tomorrow afternoon, okay? You want a stuffy? Okay, grab me a small stuffy. Dad, Dad, you can take cow? Well, I want to see some pictures of Dad, Dad, and cow. You want to see pictures of Dada and Cow on the road? Mm -hmm. I'll be safe, guys. <laughs> well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to a very different ride vlog. That's right. This video is a little bit different than what you normally find on my channel here. Four gallons of gas. All right, freeway with mountain bike. Let's see how sketchy this is. So I've been a long time connoisseur of two wheels with a motor, and I just recently sold my dirt bike, a 2016 KTM 250XC. However, this video is all about the first real overnight adventure ride on my new V-Strom 1000. This is a little bit more of a, an adventure bike, you could say, maybe 80-20% street to dirt ratio. In reality, the thing's terrible off-road, but it's super fun because you get to take it on these overnight trips with a mountain bike on the back. Tunnel! I'm curious to try out these knobby tires today in the- In this video, I'm trying a bunch of different microphone vlog setups, a couple different GoPro angles, and kind of learning how the moto is going to handle with all my stuff on it. I want to give a special shout out to John Harris. John saw my Ripley video with my DRZ 400 bike rack setup, and he actually had this 2x2 cycles rack and gave it to me. Thank you, John. John used to write for NSMB magazine, and he actually came to the Ibis Mojo HD launch back in Santa Cruz, and that's how I came to know John. Be the summit! To get into my campsite, I had to ride up this little single track trail, which was surprisingly steep for this 500 pound street bike of sorts. I tried to GoPro it up, capture all the action, and I did almost hit a tree, but my GoPro didn't think it was worth sharing and decided to record everything in time lapse mode. You're welcome. My camping setup's pretty simple, just a sleeping bag and a hammock. After a quick pour over coffee, it was time to hit the trail. Breaking down camp. It's so hard to tell if this thing's at the right angle. Oh, nice clearing at this time. Slightly rubbing the plastic. Goodbye campsite, that was a great little sight. So this is one of the, oh my goodness. This would have been really cool to camp at. The wind is gnarly though. Those mountains are incredible. Oh, so that's the Ridgeline Trail I wanted to ride up last night. But here we go, up to the ski hill. Evelina's cow is gonna keep my bike safe while I'm out riding my other bike. As they say, my other bike is a bike. Good morning, everyone. Hope you're all doing well. Today we're here in Leavenworth, Washington gonna try to do a test ride in multiple ways. First up, as you guys know, I'm riding this Yeti, super fun bike. I'm also testing the V-Strom 1000 and how it can do a cross country trip with a mountain bike. Trying out my luggage, trying out this helmet, this backpack, you name it. Looking at a 13 mile ride with 3000 feet of climbing. Let's get it. Cow, keep this safe, okay? Morning. If I remember right, this is the way to Rosie Boa. Yeah, this looks like it. Super cushy climbing escalator. Okay. There's a trail right there. Ribbed, this is us. I had a choice of bikes to bring on this. Could have brought my Ripley. Could have brought my Ripmo. Could have brought the Slayer, which would have actually been pretty good for these trails. Could have brought the Evil. Could have brought the Yeti. In the end, I picked the Yeti. Because out of all these bikes, this is my favorite to sit and pedal on. The length the top tube just fits me really well. I also love the stock saddle. Ants everywhere. A lot of you come to these videos to watch high performance riding. Well, today is not gonna be a mega high performance day. I've never been down this trail. This is an adventure trip. If I get hurt, I can't get home on my moto. So I gotta tone it down a little bit. I feel like a dang squirrel eating nuts for breakfast. All right. All right. Drifty. This is a very much an evergreen trail. Evergreen loves lots of berms. 
I think that's actually important though, because how steep the terrain is, it's hard for trails to do anything else. Kakunk. <laughs> so had I not botched that corner, I'll try to go for this gap. Okay. This reminds me of Rosie Bow, actually. Little jumper. With this amount of wind we got right now, I'm not gonna be boosting at all kinds. Well, that was fun. a spectacular ridge line. Very much bike park descent. Berms and jumps. I only film and publish on sanctioned public legal trails, so please don't mention anything else in the comments down below. Oh, you could almost corner your own roost. I've done that once or twice. Slowing it down. Wow, there's a lot of wind. Hi right, guys. Oh, I'm not going to power wheelie into this blindly, much as I would like to. Oh, caught a fat gust of wind on that. Ah, oh, sketchy with them trees. Glad I'm doing the smart thing and not sending it huge. Oh, that's a nice looking hit. Oh my goodness, bowl corner. That amount of wind, we're just gonna go ahead and not hit the cool jumps. Dude, I thought you could do jumps. What's wrong? You suck, right? Yeah. Fat wind. Why did you jump that one, Jeffrey? Well, that last one is really small and I can see the landing. Man, what a roller coaster. Whee! Now we pedal up and we do it all over again, except on a different trail. Good morning. All right, I guess this road's my new home for the next while here. Better hunker down and get pedaling. 
So in about 20 minutes, I'm right back here at the top of Ribbed. Bit of a climb up, but it's not a terrible slog or anything. Evergreen and the crew did a great job building out those climbing trails to be just little escalators up to the crystal clear skies of Leavenworth. Oh! little one. The tippy top of the rosy boa. Bro, did you ride the rosy boa? All right, rosy boa with mixed wind conditions. Don't expect mega high performance. I'm sure there's some locals that have real impressive videos of this trail. Oh, wildflower season. Yes. Oh, man, the washboard. Man, this is the time to ride this. I bet one week ago the dirt was still tacky. smell wow maybe it smells like spearmint peppermint it smells kind of just fresh springy i think it's the smell that deodorant companies want you to think of when they had those advertisements nice let's not get carried away Someone walked, that's okay. Oh, this is gorgeous. Bit windy, but gorgeous. There's a storm incoming. Oh yeah, it's real windy. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm not gapping into this one today. Morning, guys. Good morning. Hey, it's nice. Smells amazing. Is it nice? Yeah. Where am I going? Have a good day, guys. Oh, I'm not gonna gap it. That would be sick.
Hey guys. Right. What's the better way down? That goes right to the parking lot. What you want to do. What's the raddest way down? That's the blue Rosie one and that's Boa the green one apparently. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. That's Rosie Boa, it's really turny. Awesome. <laughs> I like turns. Well, you guys have a good ride. Oh. Ah, the dump. The Leavenworth Ski Hill. I had a good time riding out here. Can't promise that this was the best video per se, but that's okay. Adventure's gonna trump extreme right now. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit that subscribe button. That'll super help me out. If you're just finding my channel for the first time, I do riding tutorials every month over at Patreon. If you wanna see more moto content, subscribe to my moto channel, Jeff Tries Moto. I don't update that nearly as often as my own personal page, but depending on my interests, that may change. Leave me a note in the comments, where would you like to rally to on two wheels to then ride with two wheels? Look forward to seeing all of your friendly comments below. Looks like you've had better days. <laughs> Taking the opportunity while the wife was in the bathroom. If you've never been to Leavenworth, it's pretty cool. It's a Bavarian style village up in the mountains. Kind of looks like it is indeed straight out of Europe. There's a lot of good food options in town here as long as you're in town before eight o'clock on a Sunday evening. I met the owner of Bluet Brewery and they're a big supporter of Evergreen. It was really cool. And I want to get back to Leavenworth and do some more riding. Horse drawn carriage. Leavenworth is a pretty cool spot. I hear Brethren up ahead. It's got a pretty cool bagger. Road King, Road Glide, King Special, King Glide. I don't know what they call those things, but I will admit Harleys have a cool little vibe to them in that they're huge, chill. They can just do long miles. Every now and then you'll see one set up good with a rider who really knows how to handle it and it just looks like a blast. We should get a picture of Cow on the moto. That'll make Evelina super happy. All right, let's go find Evelina a bullet shell for her treasure trove. Oh yeah, this shell's everywhere down here. Let's find a nice clean shell for Evelina. It's a little bit rusty, but kind of, kind of, kind of clean. Let's carry on. This trip was a bit of a proof of concept and I think it worked. I can't wait to get back out on the next little adventure. I don't wanna give away all my destinations right now, but if you have any suggestions for a good overnight mission from the Northwest, please do leave it in the comments below. If you've done similar trips, also let me know. Honestly, I'm not super committed to this motorcycle thing. I'll probably actually sell this bike before the end of the summer and just get myself off the roads because I don't wanna turn into a pancake. With that said, thanks for joining me, everyone. Did you miss Cal? I think Cal missed you. Okay, I'll work on getting my treasures for you out, okay? They're a little buried. Dad, did you find me a rock? I didn't get a rock. I got something else. Purple flowers. The mountaintops in Leavenworth, up really, really high, have lots of these yellow flowers. So I got you one of those special yellow flowers. Here's the other treasure I found for you. Three bullet shells. Yeah, redneck special, huh? Yeah, or in the fish tanks. They might get rusty in there, though. I got the three cleanest ones I could find. Clean. Yeah.